Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the tactical turnovers starting roster. Um, I've realized that I have neglected the uh, managing aspect of um, the teams and I will try to make up for that um, by answering questions like the obvious one would be why do you not play with a rat ogre? Um, but first of all I'm going to explain why my roster looks like this basically when I start. Obviously with uh, two linemen not hurt or dead. Um, I find that uh, having one thrower is plenty as if you play with 12 players as I really like you can start with him out in the first half um, if you're not receiving which you would really like to. Um, so he should be uh, not hurt for the second half when he's uh, um, going to go in and receive the ball and throw it. Now some players do argue that a gutter runner can do the thrower's job just fine and to some extent I do agree that a gutter runner would be able to make an excellent thrower. I mean why would a thrower need strength? Two strength is fine for a thrower and the extra agility and movement instead of the sure hands and pass can easily make up for it. So why not? Well, the reason being that in a receiving scenario it would be it's kinda hard to get more than three receivers up onto the opponent's uh, field due to you probably making a hole in his side sidelines instead of in the middle. Um, and you'd probably want a gutter runner um, in the on your um, on your side of the, the half line um, to make a what I call a wood elf play to hand off to him, run a gutter run down in his end zone and then pass. Um, but if you have a gutter runner with the ball, then either you're going to not have a gutter runner on your side of the half and then have three receivers or you're going to have only two receivers and a gutter runner down on your half and it's just not really enough to only have four gutter runners or sorry only have three gutter runners active when one is to carry when one is um, duty to carry the ball far in down your end zone so really the thrower um, is there because I can't get a fifth gutter runner and if I could I would now the two stone vermin is obvious choices. You're paying 40 team value over alignment for block and armor value and strength access, which is really good. You need as much guard as you can get early on. Obviously the gutter runners are brilliant. They're, if you've ever watched my matches you'll see I'm using them all the time for all the work. I mean they're basically carrying the team. Um, so as I said, if I could get more, I would. And lineman is just brilliant at being throwaway throwaway units. They're fast and they have three agility, so they can dodge if they need to. But they're just brilliant at just simply being in the way and offering assists. Now, if I was to throw a rat hoger in, let's have a look at him. If I was to throw a rat hoger into this mix. Yes, he is fast and he does have strength 5, which is needed for this team. But the problem lies in him having 8 armor value, which means that he is as sturdy as a storm vermin, and the storm vermin gets hurt quite often. And he doesn't have thick skull. So he's not going to stay on the pitch very long. And also, with only 2 agility, you're not going to do any dodges with him. And then, yes, you can argue that you have break tackle. Again, if you've seen me play, you know that I'm often blitzing targets on the side to get around his cage, or blitzing like the back end of his cage, or even blitzing um, his ball carrier far into his field where the rest of my players are not at, and where my rat ogre wouldn't be at either. Now, another reason why the rat ogre is just not doing, wouldn't be doing his job very well, is because of frenzy. Now you could argue that, well, Frenzy is a great skill to surf some, someone, and yes it is, even just the potential of having Frenzy 
we really um, discourage your opponent from putting players near the sideline and just having that threat is enough to make him make mistakes or make him open up sidelines for you to run past with your gutter runners. But you have to realize that frenzy means you cannot stop your Rasoga from following up and this means that your Radoga will often be caught up in all kinds of weird tackle zones. Not only would this, would this mean that your Rasoga would not be very free to blitz the targets you want him to, but also he'll get punched a lot because of frenzy, he'll get in a lot of weird tackle zones. So let's say that he does have break tackle and he is within range of the target that you do want to blitz. But then you have to realize that if he has to use break tackle, that's a 1 in 6. And he also has to succeed in wild animal, that's another 1 in 6. And with loner, they're not very likely to succeed if you have to reroll them. So would you rather really delight? Uh, Sorry, depend on uh, your Red Ogre, or would you just get a tackle zone and then get an assist and then blitz with a Storm Vermin? It, when I've played with the Red Ogre, I just find him standing somewhere stupid and hitting some random player far away from the rest of my players because I can't really utilize him because I can't trust him. And spending that much team value on a player that I can't trust is just not worth it, at least not in matchmaking. If you're playing in a tournament and the, and the team value doesn't matter as much, then yes, you can consider using a Rasoga. But still, it's a lot of team value to throw away on a player that's as, that's as uh, reliable um, for staying on the pitch as a Storm Vermin. Now, my normal lineup is, as you can see, the thrower, two Storm Vermin, four Gutter Runners, and then either five or six uh, linemen. No, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Either four or five linemen. Depending on whether I'd want to start with uh, a twelfth player or an apothecary. Um, I most likely... I Often I'd start with um, the twelfth lineman just so I can start with my thrower out and save him the trouble. Um, and then it's a bit risky hoping that none of your positional gets hurt but you can almost almost guarantee that a lineman is going to get hurt by the second half so having an extra lineman is always good well I'm going to see if I can find a match with this team now and I will see you in a minute Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Um, I found a game against a newly started um, Chaos team um, which I'm going to jinx now and say it shouldn't prove much of, of a problem as um, newly started Chaos teams with a Minotaur um, is mm, they're, they're hard to, to start out with. Right, I don't know if you if I sh I don't think I showed you, um, but I had a skill up on a gutter runner, um, and I this one, and I've picked big hand. Now this um, means that I've got three skill ups on this team, and all three of them has been doubles. Um, so that's that's quite lucky. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about why I'm lining up like this and not lining up in a um, in a more normal fashion of protecting one's sidelines. Now the reason for that being that he's not going to try and run um, catchers down into my end field and play a passing game. So I don't really have to protect my sidelines for that reason. Also he has frenzy so I don't like to be on sidelines. Um, but Besides all that, I can either choose that he can like surround me, or he can split me down the middle if if my players are moved to either side, and he's going to knock down my my line of scrimmage. So either I will have players standing in here, 
while I will have players standing on either side. Now, both of them has the disadvantages that if I'm locked in, I'm going to have a harder time moving around and up the field where I want to go. Three, four, five, six, seven. But also, if I have some players that I can't get rid of uh, in the middle, then I'm going to have a hard time uh, moving my players from side to side. Okay, now I can't, I don't know where the ball is going to land, but I'm going to place a couple of gutter runners up here just in case that it scatters outwards. And that would mean blitzing this uh, horns player, or uh, beastman. Um, the problem being now is that if I blitz him and even if I knock him down it's going to be a dodge for each gutter runner but I have to deal with that. Okay, so that's not ideal. Um, I would have liked to at least get a power or something on him so I don't have to do a three agility dodge here. Um, but I will have to deal with that. I don't want to dodge with him and before I do my um, my dodges with gutter runners, I'm just going to move my players up a little bit and then do my uh, pick up the ball. Alright, so let's have him and him go up. Let's see if this works. Now, I, mm, do I want... Yeah, let's put these players in a bit more secure location. Okay, now the chances are that... Oh, that is lucky. It could have bounced down here and you could have just given it to anyone and run away. Um, and that is very bold blocking with the um, Minotaur first as it does have Lona. But it works. And now it's firmly into my side of the pitch which means that I will try to have a, um, a foul in on the Minotaur if I can. And he didn't even follow up with the Chaos Warrior. No, he probably shouldn't, just to cover the ball. And he's not having all the luck in the world either with um, the block dice. Um, he should probably blitz my um, big hand player. Um, I don't know if he should blitz it down onto the ball. Probably not. Alright, well as it stands now, the um, the player really being in my way is actually this one. Because with this one gone, I can uh, dodge more freely around and I should be able to pick up the ball with a big hand player. 
Now I might not be able to score this turn, uh, but I at least can get the ball down here somewhere and then foul his uh, Minotaur. Right. Um, let's. Do like that. All right. Now I do want to blitz that guy off. So I'm going to put this guy's attacker zone here. Um, and then move this player back down to give an assist um, to the Minotaur. That is good. Now the problem now being if I want to uh, follow this up or not. If I do No, let's not. Because I really want to block this guy also. Okay. Going to move him. Here. Now let's see if this dodge works. It does. This means that I can pick up the ball and run down here. Let's have another assist on the Minotaur and do the foul with the loner. Okay, didn't work, but no send off. And you need the combat lock. And the music. Oh, we do have the grid, but we have no numbers. Alright, that's a very successful turn. Um, no. A deadline when it's to expect to be expected. At this point, I can um, afford to replace a lineman, but I can't replace a um, a grosso runner, especially not one with my double double rolls. Um, and I did have a um, I had an extra lineman who was missed next game so I'm back to 10 players now so if I buy one more then I'm up to 11 and I have an apothecary for next game Now seeing as he's spreading out as much as he is, I'm probably just going to bash him and do a semi-cage. Um, because I'm not in a hurry to score. And I really want to um, foul his um, Minotaur again, simply because it has... Um, what's it called? Mighty blood. All right. Well, I'm going 
going to blitz this guy away because I want to foul with the loner, not hit with the loner. Oh, I should have countered that, shouldn't I? Alright. Let's move you here. Dodge the sky down to safety and oh. as a stun and still no send off. Um now he's probably going to push down the side. Um I'm going to place this player here to give a bit more defense and Take this player back once. Now, as long as he's keeping all these players so far away from me, I'm basically playing, what, 10 players against 5? Um, and I'd be more than happy to just bash his players and make those numbers even less. Now I move this player back once because he would have a really hard time blitzing through my line and with him moved back once he wouldn't be able to um if I hadn't stunned his Minotaur, he probably wouldn't have wouldn't be able to blitz and then stand next to my ball carrier unless he was really lucky and got frenzy and then stand next to. Um So here I'm going to blitz that guy with this one. Let's put him here. Yeah, let's have you lie down there. Um The problem now being that I want to do this block. Um, that's good. And I'm going to do that by assisting with the thrower. I kind of want to protect this um, this gutter runner. Alright, I'm starting to leave a lot of openings. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you can actually blitz my player now. So 
I'm going to move this player away just for the sake of it, for the safety of it. And found his Minotaur again. Now he got ejected. Um, I'm I'm okay with these three fouls. As all of them has passed armor, armor. They just haven't um, done an injury, but that's just down to luck, really. Um, I couldn't have done any more with more assists or anything, so that was the best I could do. Um, but with him ejected now, and with the turn counter as it is, I'm probably going to move um, receivers up the field now and do a uh, a passing play in turn um, five. We'll have to see how aggressive he'll put his players now. Okay. Now I can actually knock this player down and blitz um, this player, and by that I should be protected well enough with just doing a handoff now. Um, but I want to do this block as well, and I'm going to do that this assist. Um I'm actually going to be a bit cheeky and use the assist from this player. Like that, then I can block him. Okay, well, that's a problem. Um, I'm going to. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to tie this player up. Hopefully. and and oh gee well I guess I'll have a receiver and actually do the sensible thing of having him as a thrower now. Um, I know it's a bit... Uh, it's a bit cowardy in a way to just keep on running away but I couldn't secure the ball. I couldn't I couldn't run somewhere where I'd be um, relatively safe. So I'd rather run run back and just throw the ball forwards than have him blitz my ball carrier. Alright, so that's good. As I wasn't planning on keeping the ball there, that number 8 is just going to um, stand there looking like an idiot now.
Okay, so he is covering my um, my receiver, but I can do a um, a wood elf play unless he um, hmm, he does not. Okay, so now I can. Blitz this guy free and pass to him. And I'm going to do that by. Oh, well, I would have liked to block that player down. And no. So that's a going for it. That's not. But if I block like this and I don't knock him, I even made it. And I then go like that. Okay. So I could go here. Problem being being now that he can receive. Now I should be able to run around. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about that. Oh yeah, strength. Ugh, poor, doesn't he? Silly, silly me. Um, dope. Okay. I can't get an extra assist here. I can do a three agility dodge. Or a one die block. Now a one die block is more likely to work than a three die dodge. dodge. Um, so what I'm going to do is nothing with that. Apparently. Well, no, I can. I can move up here and block that guy. Like so. Now I won't be able to get an assist. That's why you need guard on these players. Um, but I can lessen the threat a bit. Now this was a, actually a stupid following up there, as um, I might be hindering my my blitz potential now. Okay. Yeah, I am. I shouldn't have followed up there. Then this player would have been in here, and I could have. Then I could have made the blitz. Um, that was really, really stupid. Oh well. But now I can make a wood elf play instead. Um, I can run this player down here. Make the handoff to my thrower and go throw in the ball. I don't want to be there because that's where I need to run in a minute. And that's not very good. That's not very good at all. Alright. That was really bad play to me, actually. Yeah, I could have done a lot more things uh, right that time. But see, this is what it comes of it with me thinking out loud. Because I'm apparently, I thought I would be, but I'm not very good at multitasking and saying what I'm thinking while I'm thinking. Well, right now, he can blitz my number 7 with his number 8 that I was so boldly saying would be left there standing looking stupid and now he's, he's actually in a pretty decent spot and he should move his number 5 down to put Saxon on the ball instead of blocking before moving um, speaking of I'm 
planning to do a um, a video regarding um, regarding like all kinds of tips um, not tips like you should move before you block or something like that you should already know that but more stuff like when should you take a GFI when you pass and how does passing actually work I mean with um, inaccurate passes and um, what's it called um, uh, fumbles and so on when do you do which and why um, and all sorts of other stuff um, that hopefully should be really informative now this probably means that wow oh shit I forgot to say hi lol sure um, um where is where is my there he is big hand okay um so I will probably blitz his um beastman onto the ball now one two three. I can't really get to the ball otherwise with a big hand player, so that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully it bounces upwards and not uh, downwards. Hmm, he catches the ball. Right. Um, that's not what I was looking for. Surprising, I know. Um, I can't really do much down here in terms of knocking down his, uh, his beastman or his K as a warrior. However, I do want to get on this side of him. No, probably won't help much, actually. No, but I do want a big hand player down there. Let's move you here. And. I can't really do shit about. the rest. I can't offer a tackle stone on this guy. I can offer a tackle stone here. Um, yeah, why not? If I can block this guy down and then put a tackle stone on him, then that's probably worth it. Like that. Um, I do have rerolls, however, if I want to do this dodge. Now I know that he's going to blitz with this player and blitz me away. But I'll have to take those on. He doesn't have any rerolls to make either the blitz, which is a 1 and 9 or the um, to fail or the dodge which is a uh, 2 and 6 to fail and he doesn't blitz oh he elects for the 2 agility dodge instead or really it's a 3 agility dodge with no modifier okay sadly though my is he going to f no Sadly, my horns player is the one standing on the only available um, assist assisting spot. So I need to blitz with someone else than my horns player, and I now I can't get a player in here if he blocks my uh, thrower to blitz from this side.
Okay. Yeah, and there goes my thrower. And hopefully he doesn't die to mighty blow. And now it's looking like a three agility dodge from this lineman, I mean. So I need a tackle zone, which I'm going to get from up here. I'm not taking this guy because if I block him up, he can get a. Uh, this guy can get a punch in on him if I don't knock him down. So I need a tackle zone on this chaos warrior um, to do a blitz with my lineman, like so, and hopefully I'll make three agility dodge. Okay, let's put him up there, and no. Now this is um, a quite risky catch, and I can just pick it up with a plus one. When it scatters like that, you don't get a um, the plus one modifier that you would otherwise if you're picking up the ball. Okay, so now... I'm going to run up. I'm going to pick up the ball and run up. But before I do that, it's my last, um, my second to last turn, however you call it. So I need a player within scoring distance. Now this player does need to score, but I wouldn't mind my horns player scoring either. So I'm going to move this player um, up within scoring distance. Now I'm probably going to do a side cage because he can blitz. Um, so this player can reach there, so I'm going to put this player here. Take my horns player, pick up the ball, and yes, I do have I have two rerolls for two turns, so there's no reason not to use a reroll. Now I won't um wrestle as soon as possible on my uh horns player um to get uh horns wrestle strip ball and then eventually leap and funny fun stuff like that. Now none of these dodges are worth anything, so let's not do that. Now, he can't reach really, or he can reach with that guy maybe. Um, but even if he gets in front of the ball, I can um, I can blitz, I have horns, so I should be able to blitz my, my own way out. Even if he gets um, in a good position. Now, you might say I'd be, I would have been able to score against this player um, three times in this half if I had just uh, scored as soon as possible in the first half. Or in, sorry, in, um, in the beginning. And yeah, I probably would, would be able to, but then again, I might have lost the ball and then he would just be able to cage up and... Um, Move down, um, move down my end of the pitch slowly in a cage. Um, I'm trying. I'm more more so trying to show you how to do this safely rather than just show off and just run over um, not so good players in old world, as you can see. Now the question is, do I want? Um, him to score, or my horn player to score. He has a long way to go. I probably won't block on my um, or even wrestle on that guy. Actually, mm, no, I can't. 
Now I'm going to blitz with a, uh, a storm vermin just for the sake of it. Nothing comes of it. Now the secure way to do this, or the bit more secure, is put both players up here and then do the handoff in the end zone. Then you have a small chance that if you do fail the uh, the handoff, it might bounce back on the throwing player in our corpse. 